everybody welcome back to my channel and this video is a little bit special because uh, I'm recreating a makeup look or look from the beauty guru Shreya Jain herself and uh, if uh, you've seen Shreya's video you know the look I'm talking about it's the neon um, liner look I guess wait 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 let me know so the look is called neon pop yeah I have this on handy because uh, I was just going through a tutorial because I really don't want to uh, mess anything up and I just want to get everything right. I just wanted to do justice to this look and I think I have done pretty well. It's not perfect but I think it's really it's a really good start. Also I had a few products less uh, from her so I had to make it work with what I had. So I think it turned out really great and I hope you enjoy the video. Also if you're new, subscribe to my channel, like this video. You may like it at the end of the video if you like it, but I'd like it if you like it right now. Yeah. So as you can see, I've already done my base and I've already prepped my eyes. Now for this look, she used three things. First is the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions Palette. And the second is a white eyeliner. She used a liquid white eyeliner. I don't have one, so I'm gonna use this. Let's see, let's see how the look turns out with this. So this is the Wet n Wild Cool Eyeliner. You're always white. I'm really not sure how this, this is gonna turn out because she used a liquid one. And a liquid is quite easy to apply, not quite easy to shape, but yeah, it uh, comes off as really pigmented. Like you can work your way through a liquid eyeliner. I don't think this is gonna have that much of payoff, but still, we're gonna try. And she used a chunky glitter, which I don't have, but I think I'm gonna use this glitter shade over here like mimic the chunky glitter it's gonna be different but uh, yeah I can't do anything else right now so I have zoomed you in on my face to get a proper look of what I'm trying to do she could use this shade on the crease and now I'm using a pencil brush just as she did so let's just get into it Try to like bring it out a little bit just to get that wing effect. Oh god. Regret. <laughs> no. Let's just keep doing it and hope for the best that it works out. Okay. So now when she did it, she did it like a little, um, she did it like a very thin layer of eyeshadow and now as you can see the eyeshadow has reached my eyebrow but um, I think we'll have to keep going. Now this eye turned out a little better for now but I think I'll have to blend it out because then it won't look similar. So we're done with the blue and now I'm gonna try the white liner which is the most dreaded part. I'm really scared about it because I suck at graphic eyeliners. So, again, we're gonna just give it a try. I really don't apply eyeliner with just one hand. I like to, you know, stretch it a little bit. I can't see. I can't see. I need a big mirror in front of me. I'll just try to clean it up off camera, then I'll get back to it. 
so I'm done with the white eyeliner but and I don't know about you guys but I really really love it I know it's not as clean as Shreya's but she's a pro right she's like the goddess of makeup and I'm just starting at it but I really 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 like this and there's not a single doubt that I'm gonna go out wearing this eyeshadow because this is so beautiful and it's so innovative but there's one more step left and which was to make it neon this is actually white but yeah I've used a pencil uh, eyeliner so it's like mixed with the eyeshadow and become a little blue but it's actually white so we're gonna cover up a little bit of that white with this so that it gives like a neon effect If you already have white liquid eyeliner, I think it's gonna be best for you to use that because I had to like go in with my pencil, like I have to hold my lid and go in with my pencil because a pencil is hard to work with than a liquid eyeliner. So yes. If you have a liquid eyeliner, go in with that. That is just amazing. Alright, so we have made this neon. The so next step is our good old mascara. And I have the Deborah Milano Divine Volumes and Curves mascara here with me. The next step is brows, which I should have done before the mascara, but I forgot about them. So I'm using the Faces Canada All Time Pro Get into Shape Brow Kit. Now, I usually don't use brow products because my brows are fine, but I uh, cleaned up this a little bit with the concealer, so I will have to like clean it up and like give it some shape. So I'm done with the brows and the next step is um, lashes. And I am a real beginner at lashes. I really do not know how to apply lashes. So I was gonna skip um, the lashes, but Shreya did it, so I really wanna do it. I didn't want to mess up this look just because of weirdly or wrongly, wrongly, is that a word? No, I don't. Or um, like just not rightly put lashes. So. I'm gonna give it a try but yeah I'm gonna do that off camera because I can't do that on, on camera like I'm really hard so I'll see you if I put my lashes right okay lashes are finally and thankfully done I am so happy that they worked out and now it's time for the last step and that is so today I'm gonna use the Nykaa matte to last in the shade Madras Kapi it's a liquid lipstick and I'm just in love with it So we're done with the lipstick and now it's just a little bit wait for it to dry it out and I'm just going to put on a gloss and then we're done. And I completely forgot one step so we are going to do that now until our lipstick dries. So that was the, she puts her glitter, chunky glitter in her inner corners and now since we don't have chunky glitter, we're going to use this silver glitter over here and we're going to put this on our inner corners. Okay, we're done. Now the effect would have been much better if it was a chunky glitter, but I think this works fine. And if you have a chunky glitter, you can go and try it that, try it that way too. And finally, this look is complete. And shout out to Shreya for creating such a beautiful look because I know I'm gonna wear this look very, very often. Yeah, it's um, like it takes a bit of practice 
to get it right first time but i think uh, once uh, i start doing it i'll get a, get the hang of it i really wanted to do this look justice because it's from the makeup goddess herself so yeah i tried this out and if you guys like me creating such videos so just comment down below i'll recreate uh, looks from other makeup artists or celebrities or any person you suggest so yeah i'm open to suggestions i hope you like this video and i'd love if you take a moment to subscribe to our channel and like this video and comment down below and share this video with your friends and family and i'll see you next time bye stay happy and stay safe